Welcome to a lesson on the Triangle Inequality Theorem. The goals are to state and investigate the Triangle Inequality Theorem. The Triangle Inequality Theorem tells us that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the length of the third. If this is not the case, we actually can't form a triangle. Now even though this is how the theorem is formally stated, we really only need to make sure that the sum of the lengths of the two shorter sides is greater than the length of the longest side. So before we take a look at these questions, let's go ahead and investigate why this must be true. Here we see two diagrams, one where a triangle is possible given the lengths of the three sides, and one where a triangle is not possible given the length of three segments. In this first diagram, the length of A plus the length of B would be greater than the length of C. And the reason we know that is if we think of A as the radius of this circle on the left, if we line it up along C, it would extend from here to here. However, if we think of B as the radius of the circle on the right side, if we line up the radius along C, it would extend from here to here. Notice how these two segments would overlap, verifying that A plus B would be greater than C. And this must be true in order to form a triangle. Here's a case where that condition is not satisfied. If we line up segment A along segment C as the radius of this circle, notice how it would extend from here to here. And then if we extend B along C, it would go from here to here. So here's a case of where A plus B would be less than C, and these two segments aren't long enough to touch each other, and therefore we can't form a triangle. To emphasize this even more, let's take a look at an animation. Here we see an example of where A plus B is less than C, and you can see as we change this, we're not able to form a triangle until A plus B is greater than C as we see here. Notice how, again, A plus B would be greater than C, therefore we would have a triangle. Now if A plus B was equal to C, we still would not be able to have a triangle because we would just have segments lined up on top of each other. But as soon as A plus B is greater than C, we can form a triangle. And here we see it. So in order to form a triangle, A plus B must be greater than C, where C is the longest side of the triangle. So let's go back and take a look at our examples. We want to determine which lengths can form a triangle. But again, instead of checking the sum of every two sides, we're just going to check the sum of the two shortest sides and make sure that it's greater than the length of the longest side. So in this first example, the two shorter sides have length three and four, and since three plus four is greater than six, a triangle is possible. For number two, the two shorter sides are five and six. Is five plus six greater than eleven? Well, it's not. It's actually equal to eleven, so a triangle is not possible. And for our last example, the two shorter sides are two and three. Be careful, some textbooks don't always list the two shorter sides first. So is two plus three greater than nine? Of course, that's not true. So again, a triangle is not possible. I hope you found these examples and explanations helpful.